Hello again, guys. Uh, between problem and problem, coffee. Okay, we did this problem, or I did this problem uh, just, I don't know, a few minutes ago, and this is what we did. We apply the parallel axis theorem, let me show you here. We apply the parallel axis theorem for calculating that, and in this case, we divided the figure in these three figures the composite figure. So we say figure 1 plus figure 2 plus figure 3 and you can put the axis if you want to. So this figure plus that figure plus this figure that gave us the composite figure that we were looking for which is that. And that's good. Now just for fun I'm going to approach the same problem but I'm going to do it a little bit different. So I can show you that no matter what, no matter what way you decide to divide the, the structure or the shape or the area, the moment of inertia should be the same because the way you calculate it doesn't change the physical properties, right? So I'm going to say that this is my figure one and this is my figure two. And now the whole rectangle here is my figure three, the whole rectangle. In other words, I'm going to do this, a whole rectangle, exterior one of 12 by 9, 12 by 9 minus, and then I'm going to take this little piece here, and then I'm going to take this piece here also. That piece. If I take this, I take this piece and I take that piece, I should have the same figure, complete figure. So, but I'm going to call this figure one, I'm going to call this figure two, and I'm going to call this figure three. I don't know why I call it like that, but I'm going to call it like that. So let's start doing that problem in that way. Now, I'm going to give you some tips and pointers of what to do, because if you don't do it, probably you forget to do something and that's going to cause you the problem and maybe your class, I don't know. Figure I sub 0 x, I sub 0 y, a x y, a times x squared, a times y squared, same table, same, same. Now, critical thing here is the way you're going to approach these figures. Figure 1 is going to be this but that is going to be a negative figure so please be careful put a negative sign put something here put something here that reminds you that when you do the summation here actually that value are gonna, is going to be negative and not positive what i'm going to do i'm going to write the negative using red and you can do it if you want to so i sub zero x for this one bh cubed divided by 36. We already know that because it's a triangle with respect to the centroid. bh cubed divided by 36. What is b and what is h? Well, b is the distance from here to here, which is 6, and h is 3. So 6 times 3 to the third divided by 36, 4.5. Remember, remember the Alamo. This is centimeters to the fourth, <laughs> centimeters to the fourth, centimeters square, centimeters, centimeters, centimeters to the fourth, and centimeters to the fourth. I sub zero y is going to be hbq divided by 36. What is h? 3. What is b? 6. Let me put the units here. The dimensions. So we are not on covering the paper every time that I do that. Six and six. Oh, my picture is on top of that. Well, my picture is better than the number. So H, three times six to the third, divided by 36, and that's 18. What is the area? Area, B times H, divided by two. Three times six, divided by two, nine. Now, what is X? X is the distance, measuring X with respect to my axis 
center of figure one, I know that from this point to here is one third of the base. So that's going to be my x one third of the base, which is six. That's two. What is y? Y is the distance measured from here to there, from here to there. And what is that distance? That distance is 6 plus 2 thirds of the height. 6 plus 2 thirds of 3. 6 plus 2 thirds of 3. 3 and 3 cancel out. 6 plus 2 is 8. And now you multiply 9 times 2 squared, which is 4. That's 36. And 9 times a squared, which is 54, 9 times 54, 9 times 64, is 576. There you go. I say 2 times 9, 9 times 54, 54, no, 64. Okay, next figure. Next figure is this one. I'm going to put my reference here so I don't forget that it's like that. And immediately, immediately, once I do that, Guys, please remember, once you do that, put the negative sign in front, mark the whole thing here, and I'm going to do it also in, in red pen, just to remind myself that this is a negative area. BH cubed divided by 36, what is B? 6, what is H? H is this distance, how much is that? 9. So 6 times 9 to the third divided by 36. I sub 0 y. hp cube divided by 36. These are interchangeable all the time. So h 9 b 6 divided by 36. This value here is 121.5. This value here is 54. Area. Area 6 times 9 divided by 2. 6 times 9 divided by 2, 6 times 9, 54 divided by 2, 27. What is x? Let's go back to x. x, my centroid for figure 2 is located here. That means that x is going to be the distance from here to there. What is that? 6. But I know that this is 2 thirds of 6. You see how much it helps that you throw the centroid there? Then you don't even have to think. You know it's one third and two third. Well, I know this is two thirds and this is one third because this is bigger than this. Duh. So this is going to be six plus two thirds of six. And two thirds of six is six divided by three is two times two is four. Four times four plus six is ten. Now in y, what is the distance in y? Easy peasy again. Lemon squeezy. Here, one third of the height, one third of nine, one third of nine. A times x squared, A is this, 27 times 10 squared is 2700 because 10 squared is 100. And this is 9 divided by 3 is 3, 27 times 9, 27 times 9 is 240. Three. Now, third figure. Third figure is the big rectangle of 12 by 9. What is the I sub 0? BH cubed divided by 12. Remember, 12. This is here. BH cubed divided by 12. BHQ divided by 12. My phone. BHQ divided by 12. 12 times 9 to the third divided by 12. 12 and 12 cancel out. 9 to the third. 9 to the third is 9 to the third. 81. 81 times 9. 721. 29. This is in the other direction. H times b to the third divided by 12 h 12 h is 9 9 times base 12 to the third divided by 12 this 12 with this 12 yes 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 this is 1296 
Now area 9 times 12 don't divide by 2 please because that's the other thing I, I emphasize so many times divided by 2 divided by 2 and then people calculate the rectangle and divide by 2 108 and then what is x? x is the location of the centroid for that figure measure from here and from here it's gonna be half and half in x half of 12 6 in y half of 9 4.5 and now do area times this square, which is 36. That's 3,888. And area times 4.5 square is 2,187. Those are my values. What do we do? Summation, 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 summation. Now, when I say summation, remember that it's positive and negative this is going to be 729 minus that's why we use a red color minus 729 minus 125 21.5 minus 4.5 is 603 1296 minus 54 minus 18 is 1224 3888 minus 2700 minus 36 is 11.52 and 21.87 minus 2.43 minus 5.76 is 13.68 applying a stainer again I sub x I sub x is gonna be summation of I sub 0 x plus a y squared summation so that means that it's going to be this plus this you know what is sad here guys once you finish the table you get this and add this and i have seen that happening a lot so don't do that this x this y i sub x is going to be equal 603 plus 1368 and that implies that I sub x is going to be equal to 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 19, 60, 19, 71. Centimeters to the fourth. Now, what is I sub y? I sub y is going to be I sub 0 y plus a x squared these two the two squares and the two circles go together 1224 plus 1152 and i sub y is 2376 centimeters to the fourth now let's compare with the previous example that i just finished this is the previous example that we did and this is the, the new example look at the columns summation of i sub 0 x 234 603 180 1224 2196 1152 that doesn't match and that's normal because we're using different figures they should not match what is important is that the final result i sub x with i sub x and i sub y with i sub y are the same and we just proved that so we have a problem that we solve by two different shapes two different ways of dividing the section and we got the same result see you next video guys keep watching get a hundred